first thing we want to do is remove our dipstick. This will help the crankcase vent properly when draining our engine oil. After that, using a number 6 Allen wrench, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. As the oil is draining, now is a good time to check the condition of the crush washer. If it's damaged or missing, you want to replace it to prevent any future leaks. Once it's finished draining, we'll go ahead and reinstall our drain bolt and torque this to 21 foot-pounds. Using a 64mm oil filter wrench, we'll go ahead and remove the old oil filter. It simply just threads off. I generally like to hit it with a shot of contact cleaner to clean off any of them contaminants. Now, before installing our new oil filter, it's a good idea to put a thin coat of oil around the gasket on the oil filter. That's going to help make it easier, a lot easier, replacing it on the next service. And then we just simply thread it back in place and torque this to 12 foot-pounds. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Polaris states that this unit holds two quarts of Polaris PS4 engine oil. And we'll simply put our dipstick back in place. Now it's time to start the engine up, let it idle for just a few moments. That's going to get the oil circulated through the system properly. Once it's done that, then we'll shut the engine off and let it sit for a few moments. That'll let the oil settle back in the bottom of the crankcase and give us an accurate oil level reading. And we'll pull out our dipstick, wipe off the excess, and fully insert it, and pull it back out and check our level. And this looks perfect guys, so let's go hit the trails.